Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Cut your Shiba up in this bitch. Previously on Kimba TV. And when we started the morning stream yesterday, what was the first thing that I said? Oh shit, we might need to short 56.5. You do realize that when we were here, I already knew I wanted to start thinking about 56 zone. So if you were here yesterday morning and you couldn't, you didn't even have that in your subconscious, you're not as bearish as I am. Does that make sense? How we doing? Lions, talk to me. Um, you have two trades. You have this. And you've got this. So you have like a scalp long and you're short up there. It'll probably confluence with this pullback. All righty, there's your uh, 15 second TA. Clean that. Some sort of scalp long here. And then um, short would have to break the weekly. How much is this? $2,000. Buzz Cree says, I walk away for two minutes, I miss 15 seconds. I mean, I think it's pretty simple that if you break this, it's gonna be a shit show. Oh my God, all the retail longers are gonna freak the fuck out. Um, so I'm just trying to see exactly what kind of tolerance. Yeah, maybe like a dot five. I don't know how... You, you really have a uh, maybe a scalp long, um, buskree, or um, this looks interesting up here. That's also the weekly open, right? Yeah, the 58,129. Um, the one that will probably come next is this. Um, so maybe you can scalp it a little bit. That's like a $2,000 move. And then um, once it gets up here, I might be looking for another short. Blink John says, is this a rising wedge type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but a lot of times this can, um, 
Even though a lot of people are like, no, down here, down here. Hmm. I think this is valid because all the retail stops are going to be here. I don't know about the top, but... So like, um, like a hella bearish scenario would be So got to stay above. All righty. I'm going to go to the coffee shop downstairs. I want like um like coffee before baby girl wakes up. So if this does have a little bit of a pullback, um this might be like an interesting area for a scalp long um watch keep an eye on this. Um, dink, 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 but this should breach 58.1. All right. And then uh, markets are opening in an hour, so we'll have some boot gammas to kind of help us. Okay, but um, if, this, if this is going to pull back, you know, this zone kind of starts to look interesting. I, I have noticed that a lot of these bounces are happening off the 052. However, I think it'd be better to maybe clean those. So I think somewhere in here could be like an interesting long. And then um, I wouldn't think about shorting until we breach the weekly open. All right. So if this does come back a little bit, there might be like a scalp long opportunity. Obviously, I don't have... I'm not privy to the data, but yeah, scalp long might be a pot. Uh, the stop loss on a long attempt would be the lows. So, okay, that maybe gets cleaned, and then we try today to go and break 58. So there could be a scalp long opportunity for me to short. I would have to have it breach uh, weekly open. Um, our Tars of Akimba, what would be the plan if it continues to go up? Okay, stop the music. So do you remember this, brother? What do I always tell you guys to have an understanding of? Make sure that you guys have value area high, value area low for volume based. Alrighty, so for me, it's level to level. First things first, this channel is step number one. Okay, it's back inside. Okay, what about the second Daily candle close. Can it close back inside 56.5? No, we could not. Okay, that's not that great, but that's all right. Third day, can we get back in? So for me, it, it has to get back in and cl start closing above 59. Yeah, it's a little bit different when we longed here and we longed here, okay? If this had done something like this, like this, I would be thinking, okay, it's good. But we didn't. So things are a little bit different now. So um, I need this, like um, if this can do, if this can get back into this deviated so far away from any sort of value level that I need this bitch to do this. If it does that, awesome. I'll go ahead and long and we'll take it all the way back up here. We deviated that much outside of value area range. Okay, let's go ahead and deviate to the other side next. So go ahead and claim 59 for me. Start building value. You know what the problem with this is? You left, lost it, and now it's building value here. Which means that if it can't get back up in there relatively quickly now, we're going to rotate down to next value. Um... So yeah, if it can break into 59 and get back into all of this and start kicking it here, then awesome. I'm going to be back in a long and then let's take it all the way to the other side. 
Sounds good, Artarzeva. All right. So yeah, I think it's, um, I'm gonna just keep it, you know. The biggest thing for me is I don't wanna get too baited. So, um, yeah. But this is like ass. If it really was bullish, it would have been dink, 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 dink. It wouldn't have made the weak lows, probably held the golden pocket. And then it would have, it wouldn't have been doing, it, sh this, it shouldn't be doing, fuck, hey, I need a pink, I, I don't want to, hey, um, how many of y'all are, uh, it, so uh, just kind of looking at this you just now, said, you just said. How, how many of y'all were with me with the, uh, the morning TA? Um, so how many of y'all are looking to like short this thing thing? Latouche motherfucker, the math is the math! How many of y'all want this? H how many of y'all are wanting this? Hmm. Okay, okay. How many of y'all are uh, thinking about this? Okay, okay. Uh, how many of y'all thinking about uh, this? Um, here's S and P, by the way. Let's go to the four hour. Man, that looks really good. Looks very, very similar to Biddy, right? Looks real similar to Biddy. Um, and then obviously if it does not do that or it creates another higher low, that sweep is looking really interesting too. Um, and then of course, can't forget the higher time frame thing thing from there to there. So lots of gaps, lows to get cleaned up. Um, so that's S and P. Yeah, look at look at where it uh, pixel fuck from the previous point of control. So if the bugamas allow for it, for example, like that morning pump fake to clean that would be like interesting if the Boo Gamma support it. Because it bounced off of point of control. It tried to break out. Now we're back in this bitch again. So like a bearish confirmation would kind of be like interesting. I wonder if that actually happened already. No, not yet. Maybe it just kind of fucks around right here, goes tomorrow. Could be a play play. There's certain things that aren't really arguable, like what lows are bad, what lows are weak, what lows are poor, what highs are poor, what highs are weak, what, low, what highs are bad, you know? Um, you can't argue where the single print is, right? Um, and whether you believe in them or not, or whether you think that it's going to break this time or not, um, you know, a CVD div is a CVD div. So a couple of things to juggle, a couple of things to maybe patiently wait for, like Boo Gammas. Uh, does anybody know what the probability is for the CPI outcome? 
Is it higher than 85% on a certain number for expected? I think um, we, we should nerd out on that uh, maybe Monday before uh, PPI Tuesday to see like the what the most recent bets are. You guys have uh, musical control. I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later tonight. Stay safe, y'all. Love you guys, man. Peace. Peace.